What's up, guys? It is Luke here. I'll check my webcam on. Sorry that we're a few minutes late, everyone. It was just a nightmare just then. I'll show you guys what happened real quick while we uh, wait a couple of minutes for everyone to jump on. So my keyboard here has been on about, what's it said, 0% battery for the past week and a half. And you know, I've always just been like, oh, I'll change it later, I'll change it later. So then now, I was like, all right, guys, I'm going to make sure I change it now because what, what will happen is I'll get on a webinar and then my computer will, um, well, my keyboard will have a mind of its own and turn off. Uh, and then I have no idea where batteries are or if I have any batteries. So I just went around the house and got rid of every remote control I could find uh, and I pulled them apart. If you guys can hear me okay, by the, right, by the way, let me know if you can hear me. Um, just write yes if you can. Cool, you guys can hear me. Perfect. Someone said they couldn't. So that's what I've been doing. So I've destroyed every one of my like my remote controls um, or handsets or whatever you call them uh, in my house. So I've got all my pay TV remotes here that have got nothing in them, just so we can get this webinar up and running underway, which is going to be a bit of fun here. So I've just sent out the email now, letting everyone know it's live. So um, that's done. But what I'm going to do? Maybe what I'll do is I'll show you what I do here, but before every webinar that I um, do, just so you guys can see the behind the scenes of what I do with my Facebook groups here. So I'll share my screen. This could be okay so you guys can see what I, if you guys ever start doing webinars and you have Facebook groups, this is what I normally do. So I'll show you my screen here. We're going to jump into the OctoSuite group now. So I sent an email out to my audience. I think I've got one here in drafts, letting everyone know that it's live. So I'm going to click on one of these drafts here. So I'm using Aweber here for my autoresponder. Uh, I'm going to go back because that's not the one I want to actually send out. Um, 22 minutes ago, maybe this one here. So I write this email to you guys letting you know that it's live and everything, but you guys are awesome because you are already in here, so you probably completely missed this email since I sent it out late. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to Google a actual, let's go Insta Famous, because I'm going to be showing you guys in this webinar Insta Famous. Let's grab this little picture of Kim Kardashian saying she wants to be Insta Famous. I'm going to go down here and then I'm going to paste that actual photo in. So I don't, don't even have to save the photo. I can just copy and paste it across, which means I don't need to have it on my desktop desk. So I'm going to turn my chat off as well so it doesn't go off throughout this whole webinar. So this is here. Uh, I'm going to break this up a little bit. And this is what I'm going to do to send people across from the groups into the webinar because it's amazing how much traffic you can get added into a webinar purely from doing this strategy here. Now I'm going to copy this and I'm going to open up all my other Facebook groups. We'll do this really quickly. Then I've got a cool little story about what's been happening this week with uh, everything and something I'm sure you'll all be happy about which I haven't shared with anyone yet. And I wasn't even going to share it on this webinar but because I'm late and you're going through this little process here with me, while I hope you do enjoy it, um, I feel a bit bad. So I'm going to share something that I've been doing for you guys behind the scenes. So let me go instant mate, VIP group. I'm going to put that in there. And then I'm going to go um, what's viral autobots. So yeah, sorry about this guys, it was just that ridiculous issue with my batteries in my keyboard. I restarted it and nothing worked and it, I synced to my next door neighbor's computer, um, <laughs> wireless keyboard, uh, which was a bit strange. They probably were freaking out for a second. Um, and then one more group and then I'm going to post these and we'll get started into this webinar. Maybe what we'll do is we'll start off with oh, whoops, um, Insta Famous. I'll take you guys through a walkthrough of what InstaFamous is, why I'm giving it to you all for free, how you're going to get access before everyone else, and then we're going to get started right into the local marketing. So I'm going to go back here and view this image, I'm going to copy it, and then I'll just go, oh, stay, 
going to go paste, I'm going to go paste, paste. Oh, what well, I'm going to need to do is go to my go to webinar. So go to webinar, guys, is what we're using here to host this webinar. So I'll show you guys the back end of what this is here and how this all works from the back end. So if you guys ever do webinars again uh, yourself, you can see how it works. So for this webinar series, I think we have around 7,000 people registered for it. And what all I, all I do is here, we're in session right now, but if I wanted to start a webinar, I'd have started here. If I want to get a registration link, I can just copy that here. And then I'm going to go, um, so we are live on webinar now. Paste that link in there. And then what I'll probably just do is copy this whole text block across with that actual join link in. And then we are done. So that was pretty fast moving. We go post, 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 <laughs> post, and post. So now that's done in all of the groups there. We're going to click out of these and we're going to get started with this webinar in a second. So I'm going to turn uh, this off for a second. I'm going to pause that there. And we're going to take this off for a second. And you can see the likes are already coming in over there. So I'm going to get Insta Famous up for you guys here now. Because let's start off with that, because I know everyone's in art, but it's taken a little bit longer than expected to get it all done. Um, but we are almost there. So that for you guys. And I don't know. All right, cool. So now that we've got everything looking good, looking clean, what we're going to be talking about today is a couple of things. So let's run over that first really quickly, then we'll jump into uh, this webinar training where everyone seems to have jumped in from what we've been doing. So let me just, here we go. Cool. So what we're going to be talking about mainly in this webinar today is local marketing again. So if you were in my first local marketing webinar maybe about a month ago now, put the number one. If you have not been in any of my local marketing um, places, you can put the number two. So if you've done no local marketing with me before, uh, haven't been in any of my local marketing webinars, put the number two so I can see what you guys are doing. Some ones, more twos here. So we'll cover a few of the, someone put, uh, Ariana put the number four. Well, I hope that means, I'm not sure what that means actually, but Got lots of ones, lots of, two, lots of twos here. So let's we'll, we'll cover some of the core fundamentals again. It's always good to cover what really does work. So what we're going to be doing, what local marketing is, it's basically being able to go out to local businesses and offering them your social media services or any service whatsoever. That's what local marketing is. Um, back at maybe five, ten years ago, SEO was the main platform for using our our local marketing, so ranking local marketing client sites in Google. Um, that obviously has become, has become harder and harder and harder over time. Um, but with social media coming out, everyone is on social media now. And I actually started my first social media agency um, as my first business online. And just checking now, guys, you can see my webcam okay, yeah? Right, yes, if you can see my webcam, me moving around and everything here in my very messy room. Cool, 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 everyone says yes. So what happened for me personally, this is why I'm very passionate about this area, is because a local marketing business is so damn profitable for people who are either just getting started online or who actually uh, don't have much money to put out there for their own businesses, whether they're trying to create their own product or they're trying to create their own e-com store, uh, or they're trying to um, just get ahead online. Local marketing is the best way to go forward if that is you because you can actually have other people pay you for doing the services that which you would do for yourself if you did have your own personal business, but instead you're using your expertise for local markets around you. And if you're still learning in the social media field, this is the perfect webinar for you because I'm going to be sharing how you can automate a lot of these processes. And in this uh, case here, we're going to touch on Facebook and mainly Instagram for this example here. 
So that's what we're going to be doing here. And this is what I first started out in my online business. I had a little market, little marketing, marketing firm called Social Media Mansion. Uh, you still get emails from me from Social Media Mansion. Um, the website itself is pretty crappy. So what we might even do in this web, web webinar here, or the next one, is update it, and I'll show you guys how you can do that without knowing any code whatsoever. Um, we're going to break down a few different things here. Um, I've got a little list here of what we're going to be talking about. So we're going to be actually, actually talking about how you actually can pitch to clients and talk about pricing with clients. That's one of the biggest objections I found people have had is actually going, well, I know I have the skill set, but I don't know how to actually get the client, talk to the client, what prices do I charge and whatnot. So if actually you put a number five in the box if you're thinking that is the issue here um, that you're having a problem with. So. Inadius, Ahmed, Mike, Greg, Martin, Alan, Imran, John, David, Isabel, Tim. Yeah, a lot of you. Start a social media agency, which isn't too much at all. You basically need a website, you need a brand, um, you need to have a basic skill set. We're going to cover how you can have all of that in this webinar here as well, uh, and how you can actually create your own agency with zero experience. Because again, with the tools that are out there in the marketplace these days, uh, they automate a lot of the hard work for you. So we're going to talk about that here. We're going to go over the five-step process of signing a local client for a done-for-you Instagram service. I'm going to give you a done for your Instagram service here where you can literally go out, start to pitch to clients by the end of this webinar, uh, go over the five steps that I'm going to teach you guys here. We're going to do that then and you can go and start making getting clients for Instagram today. Uh, I'm going to show you how you can find customers and clients in local markets. So you can say, okay, it's great, but how do I actually find these, these clients? How do I contact them? What's a good client versus a bad client? What industry should I be going into? We're going to go over that there. Uh, I'm going to give you my screening sheet as well, which you'll be able to give to your actual local marketing leads, so you can actually screen them. I'll show you that a bit later on. Uh, and then what we're going to do is actually jump into something that's been I've been hammered about recently as well. Is we're going to have a look at Ty Lopez's social agency uh, system that he's got going out right now. So recently I've been uh, connecting with Ty's team, uh, his brother, band, really good guy. So I said to him, I said, look, there's been crazy hype around this product. What is it? Is it any good? So I'm going to dive into the actual product. I'm going to pull some golden nuggets out of it for you guys as well. Um, and if you do want to jump into that afterwards, I've got half price basically for you guys there that you'll see anywhere else. If you don't, don't worry about it. It's totally cool, but just an option there for you there as well. By the way, put a number eight in the box if you know who Ty Lopez is. Um, and if you don't know who Ty Lopez is, put the number nine. So a lot of people do know who Ty Lopez is. If you don't know, it's only me who can see this actual update here. So there's quite a few eights. Um, <laughs> uh, Jason says knowledge. Yeah. So basically, long story short, Ty Lopez is probably the world's biggest social media marketer uh, right now. Has over a million followers on Instagram. He's been able to monetize the shit out of his social media platforms, uh, and he's got to come out with a, a, a product now called a uh, social media agency, which is kind of teaching you in more in depth of what we're going to be going over here today. But uh, he's been he's one of the world's top speakers on the circuit in social media. Uh, he's just been named the number one social media entrepreneur in the world. But I think it was Entrepreneur Magazine. He's in Forbes, all that crazy stuff. Uh, and if you guys want to see him on a webinar in the future, I can get him, get him to jump on with us another time. But that's not what this webinar here is about. But I'm going to go over that here. Then finally, I'm going to be giving away an iPad here. Um, and then we're going to jump in from there. Christopher says, the guy who shows me ads every day, yes. Ty Lopez, if you go on his website or anywhere, don't do that now. We'll go through it later. But uh, he is amazing at retargeting and following you around the internet. As the biggest YouTube subscriber base in the social media field, um, and so it's pretty crazy some stuff that he's got going on. So let's jump into this now. So let's. Who wants to see Insta Famous? Let's uh, put a number seven in the box if you're ready to see Insta Famous. This is what I'm going to be doing for you guys for free. It's not 100% ready yet, but excuse me. 
but it's ready to go to the extent that I can give you guys a brief walkthrough right now. We've got lots and lots and lots of sevens. So, Insta Famous, for those that don't know, I'm going to show you my screen again now. This is, can you see my screen? This is Insta Famous, guys. And this is going to be the world's biggest influencer marketing platform in the world, guys. So what that means is on Instagram right now, there are so many people that are considered influencers due to their high fan base. High fan base could be 10,000 followers, 50,000 followers, 5 million followers. There's a girl around the corner from me who has 5 million followers. She's 21 or something, has two children right now. Because her, she, she documented her pregnancy on social media, she now is a basically an idol to a lot of mums or even coming mums um, from how fit she stayed throughout her pregnancy and whatnot. But she's been able to monetize that and her audience is going to buy anything that she says. It's the new form of celebrity endorsement, guys. Um, so that what that is may, may, what this tool here is going to allow you to do is to come in here and actually search influencers. So if you're not, I'm presuming most people on this webinar are not influencers. You guys are probably brands or actually a form of, you have your own business or starting your own business and you might want these celebrities who are just basically famous for whatever the reason on social media. That's why I call it Insta Famous, it's the coin term. What that's going to allow you to do is come in here, connect with different influencers. You can message them and you can see the new influencers and what not and you can book them for jobs to do posts for your actual account. So let's let's go have a look over here at an example of this. Let's type in Frank Body Instagram. Just so you can see a real life example of this and we'll jump back over uh, and we'll show you that in a minute as well. So you can see here Frank Body. This is a coffee scrub in Australia here. It's World One Company now. Makes $20 million a year. It's a body scrub like this. This person, this person, this person, these, all these people are influencers. If I click on this person here, I can see their link here. This person has only 500 followers here, so they're not a big influencer, but they're someone that would have said in a testimonial. Let's see if we can find someone that has a lot of followers here. It just wants to load for me. 816 sends another testimonial. Let's see if let's see if that's something typed in like Gabby. So this girl here is a girl where I live, has 1.6 million followers. These sport clothes, I guarantee you she'll be um, shouting them out. So woman's best is the shout out. So this picture here of her wearing this brand's clothes has got 65,000 likes on this one picture. Woman's best will be paying her to wear that clothes and do a shout out there. We can see what else we can find here. Most of this stuff would have would be shout out or connected to some brand. Hello Molly Fashion. Hello Molly Fashion again. This this shake is probably has to do has to do with something. Woman's best again. Let's see what these clothes are. Pex, so something or other wear. You get the idea. These are all endorsements. So this picture here got seventy four thousand likes. What would happen if you had an endorser or a celebrity influencer post a picture with your brand, your content, your website, your actual product, physical product, shout out your service, say that they use your service, whatever it may be, that would drive the legitimacy of her 1.6 million fans over to your page for a very, very small cost. Um, cost of what it actually compares if you try to do this with Facebook. To try to get a 1.6 million reach, by the way, without any trust on Facebook, purely from ads, will cost you probably tens of thousands of dollars if you're trying to get click-through leads to your actual site. So Instafamous is going to be a marketplace where you can come over. Now this part here isn't fully cleaned up yet. We're going to move the search filter up here and whatnot. But influencers in their different niches that they select when they sign up, are going to come over here with what their site's about. You can click on them. You can find out what's going to be uh, what the influence is about, how much they charge, and whatnot. You can contact them with your job if you have a job for that specific influencer. You can add in your budget when you want it to start, schedule the post, uh, and whatnot. If you're again, we're trying to create a job here, which is going to be a lot of us in this place here. We can post a job, so we don't have to find influencers. We can actually post a job, and they can find us 
from our job that we've posted. So we're going to say example post example job for fitness. I want 10 influencers in the fitness niche to post about my weight loss tea and choose a start date. Oh, that's in the past, but you know, I'm just trying to get, give you guys a rough example here. Select your niche. So this one would be about fitness, I guess, which I, for some reason, haven't put that in here. So maybe I should we'll put it in sports for the minute. Age group, what age group you want if you want to have an age group. Social networks, so Instagram, Twitter, we have integrated right now. I'm basing this on Instagram, but I know a lot of people do like to use Twitter. Uh, and then next we can set up the pricing and how many posts we want to do. And you can send the job out and it'll go over to the job section here. Now flip side, if I'm an influencer, I can come into here and actually go out and scale and go through all the jobs that people have posted. I can segment them accordingly. Again, we're going to make this section look a bit nicer and remove this into a sidebar or up the top or something here. But I'll have people applying for my jobs wanting to endorse my brand and my product. So does that make sense to you guys? If that makes sense, um, let me know. That makes sense. And you guys can see my screen. I've got a few people here saying, are we supposed to be seeing your screen? You guys should be seeing my screen. All right, cool. Yeah, you guys do see my screen. All right, I'm just making sure because, you know, after that little keyboard battle I had earlier, I'm just trying to make sure everything is going okay. So, all right, cool. So, this is InstaFamous. You are all getting it for free. You're going to be able to track your jobs here with your clients and whatnot once you've accepted them and whatnot. Engagements, if you can see the engagements that you have with your actual followers and inboxing them and whatnot. We're making this extremely, extremely safe for you guys. So what's going to happen here is that when you actually hire an influencer, the money is going to be held from us at InstaFamous. So the influencer is not going to get paid right away because I've done influencer marketing before. I still do it now with my teeth whitening business. I'm trying to find a box of my teeth whitening strips around here. I'll show you guys here real quick in this messy room. So these are my teeth whitening um, strips here. My brand, I created this as a little product. You might have seen these before with me when I talk about them. They're called Kiss Strips. Basically what they are is there's 14 teeth whitening strips in here and they're one time use and I've had influencers go out and uh, take pictures with them and post them on their influencer sites and send them send direct traffic to my site from them using my teeth whitening strips, right? So I make sales through doing that. So that's what I've been doing in the past. But a big problem is a lot of the time the influencer says, I didn't get the actual package or I'll post on this day at this time and they never do, or they just completely forget to post and they keep your product, which actually sucks. Um, so what we're going to be doing here is ensuring that only when the influencer posts, you can then release the funds to the influencer. So that protects you. It gives an incentive for the influencer to ensure they're posting it and whatnot. So um, that's what's going to happen there. Bruce asks here, will you be able to have a two-way conversation with the influencer. 100% yes. You can contact them, you can, uh, you can inbox them here directly. Obviously you guys, if you wanted to, could jump over to Instagram and direct message them and whatnot, which is what people are doing now. There's courses out there about influencer marketing which try to go out and show you how to find them. It's very manual and very, very frustrating. This is going to remove all the need for that. So you can contact them, do everything through the site here in one safe, fun location. So. That being said, that is InstaFamous, so uh, that should be ready within the next day or so. Um, so I'm looking forward for you guys to see that. Um, Ignatius says, I've been doing the direct messaging to influencers. Um, so Peter says as well, is it is it price negotiable when you work with influencers? Yes, you can do a custom pricing for your posts and whatnot. Um, will there be a geolocation feature for InstaFamous? Yes, so we're including the option for the influencer to say what country they are from. Um, we've got a lot of stuff happening here for you guys. Simon says, do we charge commissions? So when we actually launch this, the only commissions you guys are going to be getting here 
uh, the actual transaction fee because there is going to be a PayPal transaction fee or whatever payment process that we do use, there's going to be a transaction fee and we're probably going to do about a 2.5% transaction fee for my audience here. Um, when we launch this to the public, everyone else will have about a 10 to 15 uh, percent transaction fee there. So that's what's going to happen there, but we're going to be looking after you guys, being first users in here to ensure it's next to nothing and it's going to be very, very uh, safe and fun and easy for you guys to use. I've been trying to build this for over a year now. I've had it built, built three times now, um, but we're almost there now. It's starting to look really nice and come together. Uh, you can search for influencers here and whatnot. So we are excited for this. Uh, and I hope you guys are too, because it's taken some time to do. So, in saying that, I am ready to jump on to local marketing, if you guys are ready. Uh, uh, Perry says one more thing. I, I just like, like to look at these questions here. Um, is it country specific or is it just US dollars? Probably we'll just do US dollars just to ensure it's just um, simple across the board. There's no confusion on pricing, no one doing charge racks and whatnot. We'll make it very clear. Um, so we'll probably just do US dollars to be honest. Um, awesome, everyone seems to be liking that. Uh, a lot of people saying, is there gonna be a replay? Yes, I'm recording this right now. So as long as my computer stays up and stays nice to me, there is going to be a replay of this. So in saying that, let's jump over to local marketing. Who's excited for local marketing? Uh, write me in the box, write a big hashtag me in the box if you're excited to talk about local marketing because I get very passionate about this subject. Right now, I find local marketing for people who are getting started or that are just wanting, I said in the email, who are just wanting to either uh, make the same income they're making at work uh, online so they can work at home and have more freedom or potentially make five times the amount, 10 times the amount. It's up to you how high you scale it. But I wanted this webinar to be about um, not how you can make millions and millions of dollars overnight, like which I never talk about anyway, because anyone that says you can do that's full of crap. But there is ways you can make millions of dollars a year online. But I think when people reach, uh, this is the conversation I had with Ty's team the other day. Uh, it was saying, when you make that as the goal, it, it can seem very, very far away for a lot of people and you can see all these gurus making millions of dollars and I, this is what I was like when I first saw it. I was like, I just want to be able to double my income, get out of trying to find a job somewhere, trying to um, have to go to work every single day, have my own business where I can start to make money for myself at home in my own time with a skill set that I'm very passionate about in an area that I'm passionate about as well. And I feel a lot of people might be the same like that as well. Um, so yeah, a lot of people are saying yes in the comments over here as well. Um, and it'd be nice, right? Like who here would want to be able just to be able to, to quit their job, still earn the same amount of money and be able to scale that up in their own time as much as they want to do? I'm sure everyone's going to say yes. It's a silly question to ask, but I'm sure everyone would be in that same boat. That's, that's really true. Now, Rather than me, I, I might even talk about how I did it for myself, but my girlfriend Amanda, uh, she was in a similar boat. She finished university, I went to university as well. I can tell you guys, if I saw the courses that are out there in the online space right now, I probably uh, wouldn't have got a 100 grand uni degree where I couldn't get a job afterwards. But um, my, my, my girlfriend Amanda went to university and the same thing happened, finished university, couldn't, uh, or she didn't really, wasn't passionate about wanting to go work for someone else. And I said to her, why don't you just give it a go in starting your own marketing agency online? Because with the tools that are out there, Facebook ads are very simple to do. We might even go through that in this webinar, if not the next one, depending on the time. Um, Facebook ads are very simple to do. Instagram is such a powerhouse at the moment that local businesses are really starting to take off with, which is what we're going to focus on in this webinar. Why don't we package this down into a couple of packages? So, and that's what we're going to do in this webinar as well. We're going to package down three key packages that you can go to a local market and actually pitch to them. Uh, and start to go out to local clients and start to sign them up. And that's exactly what she did. So it was, she was a bit nervous. I gave her a bit of hand holding, which I'm happy to do uh, with you guys as well. Um, slash uh, market moose. So this is my girlfriend's uh, Facebook, um, Instagram account. Sorry, 
for her local marketing business and she uses this all the time as a way to show clients the type of stuff she's able to do. So this is a very, very clean themed Instagram account here um, that she put together. She's finding content through Instamate, posting it here. It's all color schemed very nicely. Uh, it's not all just had, it's not all to do with marketing, but you can see this is a nice clean picture here, but the quote might be to do with marketing. Simplicity. Can you name any business that takes a simple approach to their marketing or business practices which lead to their success? That got almost 300 likes, guys, and just she posted that eight weeks ago, almost 300 likes. So you can see here, I recommend writing this Instagram account down and going out and seeing how she uses this for her own local marketing business. So that's one thing you can start to do when you want to create your own local marketing business. So that's the first thing. I'll show you her website as well, marketmerch.com. Now, this is something I didn't talk about in the last webinar when we did local marketing, sorry, .com .au, um, because uh, I was going over other topics. But there are some crossover people here that have been on the last one. So when it comes to making a website, guys, who knows? Who here thinks it's ridiculously hard to do and you would never do it again? Actually, I'll put the market moose in the actual chat. And .com slash market moose. Um, so this site here was made probably in about four hours by Amanda. And she had, you can see it's all very interactive. She has no skill in coding. But this is a very, very easy thing to do in this day and age when it comes down uh, to creating websites. You don't need to know any code whatsoever. You can just use a simple platform called WordPress. So who here knows what WordPress is? Uh, actually, what I should ask is put a number three in the box if you have no idea what WordPress is. And don't be shy because, again, I can only... Uh, see here. So a lot of people say yes, WordPress is great. We have some people saying they're not sure. Um, if you're not sure, put a number three in the box so I can see what you guys are saying. All right, cool. So there's a few people here that don't know what WordPress is. So what WordPress is basically a platform, what, the way I like to explain it is think of your iPhone. Your iPhone itself with nothing on it is your WordPress blank canvas. You then basically install apps onto your WordPress canvas by clicking install. So say I want a Facebook widget from my Facebook feed on my website. I install a Facebook widget, it comes across. So I want an Instagram theme. Uh, I can download an Instagram widget, I can put that across. A contact page, I can put that across. I can even Google um, WordPress um, business things. And then I can come down here and find different themes that are related to business that I can take the entire website itself, upload it into WordPress and take the information in and out with my actual real content that I want to add. So let's see what this one here looks like, minutes. And maybe at the end of this, the people that don't know what WordPress is, I might do a little demo of this to show you guys um, how to install it, what it looks like and whatnot. Um, so these are the different examples here. So I can grab or buy these themes and have my layout for my site look like any of these very quickly for 50 bucks here. So when people say websites cost thousands of dollars, you can come in here, chuck in your, your images by simply uploading them, knowing no code whatsoever, um, and you can create a local marketing site very, very quickly. But we're not going to go in and create a whole site here because that will take some time to do. So we'll click out of this for now. But that's what I'm saying. Amanda's website, marketmoose.com.au, is a WordPress site. Very easy to get set up. So I'm going to jump over to a Word document here so I can show you. Um, we'll go through the steps you need to have a local marketing business. Kevin says, do it, Luke. Create a whole WordPress site. Maybe we'll do that afterwards so the people that do know what WordPress is aren't going to be um, too bored with watching that again because it's very simple, it's very monotonous um, and I want to keep you guys excited for a bit. So let me just jump over to my Word document. So creating a new 
local marketing business. So you first need to have a business name. Now, I won't touch too much on this here. Um, I'll show you how you can find out more about this later, but a lot of people make the mistake of branding their business as their own name. So I could be Luke McGuire Marketing. That is something I personally suggest not to, not to do. So do not brand after your own name. Because when you want to when you want to have an exit strategy, guys, you, I can I, I, I couldn't sell Luke McGuire because Luke McGuire retires and then John O something or other picks up my brand and product. Uh, they want to know where Luke McGuire is. I don't want to build a business around my name. I want to build a brand around my brand name. That's why Amanda uses Market Moose. That's why Ty Lopez he has a different name for his actual. Um, proper company himself. The only person that does something similar is Gary Vanderchuk, but his business is called Vayner Media, so it's not even Vanderchuk Media, it's Vayner Media. So you want to create an uh, asset, not a short-term um, name brand. So you want to create basically a legacy that you can have an exit strategy, so always think of the exit strategy. What that means is, guys, is why you might be getting started in this industry. You want to have, you want to start off on the right foot. So down the track, you don't have to change your name, change your business cards, change your clients, change everything. Start off by doing it properly. So brand name is very, very important. Um, so that was step one here. What else was I going to be talking about when you get started? So you need to have that. Now with your name, think about your domain name. Um, so when you think of a brand name, let's go over here. Uh, your domain name is your website name. Make sure it is available. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this here and a little trick that I always use to actually have my um, one second to actually have my. Um, so I'm sorry, I just got distracted. So I pay the least amount of money for my domain name. So I always use this site here called Namecheap when buying domains. And don't go buy one right now because uh, I'm going to be giving away some free ones um, throughout this. Uh, oh, at the end of this webinar, I'll show you guys about that later. But if your name is going to be marketdragon.com, since my name is Market Moose. You, you've decided that's your brand name, but you haven't checked that if the domain name is available. Market Dragon, let's have a search here to see if it's available. See, someone's bought Market Dragon. Let's type in Market Elephant. Actually, let's just say outside of Animal. Let's do um, Maguire Marketing or Mag MagooMarketing.com. Magu marketing is taken, so that's ridiculous, right? So, um, you, I would never have thought Magu marketing would have been taken, but someone says wombat, wombatmarketing.com, and the, the shorter I can keep it, the better. I don't. My domain name is Social Media Mansion. That has been a pain in the ass for years for me to explain to people how to spell mansion or say it over the phone or whatever it might be. Wombat marketing is taken. So have a look through Namecheap to see if the domain is taken or not. So Wombat Marketing Agency is available, but that's not a very sexy name, and you want to build a sexy brand for yourself. So let's say we found a sexy brand, we're going to add this to the cart, and this is what I always do in Namecheap. So it's Australian fourteen dollars. I'm going to open a. Um, I'm going to open a google.com uh, Namecheap coupons. So Namecheap coupons every single month. Namecheap offers a cheap and um, um, a cheap deal for you guys. So you can take this brand new coupon that's every month. Just Google Namecheap coupons, and it comes up to their page here. I'm then going to view cart. Yvette says that she does this as well. Um, I'm going to enter the promo code here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get a discounted uh, price for your domain name. It's not too much, guys, but it will save you some money, especially if you're re-registering lots and lots of names. So we'll jump back over here. That's a little tip for you guys. 
Uh, we'll jump back over to the document here. Search for coupons. So that's what we're going to do there when we our domain name. So once we've got our domain name, we're going to need to create a website. Uh, easy to do through uh, WordPress is my personal preference. There are other, other examples or other sites like Wix, uh, Wix, um, Weebly, a few other ones. But end of the day, I find WordPress is going to be the best for you for the long term because Wix and stuff, while they say they're free, there's all these hidden fees. And I hate hidden fees more than anything, which is why you see when any review I do or anything, and I try to uh, share with you guys every fee involved because it actually uh, sucks. Yeah, Mark says Wix is beer. Um, yeah, some, some people do. Um, Roy says, Roy, um, you can be in your Namecheap account. It doesn't matter if you're in or outside of your Namecheap account when searching. Um, so there, you get your business name. We've got a website up. Now what you're probably going to want to do is figure out what services you can provide. So. Who here is in the position right now where you're thinking, okay, I've got this really cool um, business name. I'm going to make a website. Uh, Luke will show me how to do that later if I don't know how to do it. But I get the idea of getting themes and whatnot. But what the heck do I actually provide to these local marketing businesses? Uh, what services can I provide? Right? Yes, if that is you right now in the comments. I'm skipping some questions here um, because we'll do questions at the end. So just keep them in mind. But um, Yeah, we have Shashi Kiran. I think I just butchered that name. Sorry, mate. Um, Alan Ignatius Apple, cool name. Steve, Danny, John, Jeremy. Yeah, it goes on and on and on and on. Michael, Michael, Michael knows already. Michael, you are on to it, my friend. So, what you can do? Let's break this up into three different sections. One second. So, what do I actually provide to my clients? So what I like to do in any type of uh, so three packages that they can do from a starting one, from a middle class, very high, high done for you everything package. So let's start with different ideas of what we can do. Um, package one. So that's what we'll, we'll break down the packages in a minute. We'll base that on Instagram first. But the two key things I like to do with Instagram, sorry, with local marketing is one, Facebook. So let's look at Facebook first. What can we do with Facebook for local clients? And if you want to shout out some, uh, Suggestions be my guess. So we're going to do um, what I like to do is Facebook ads is one thing I always highly recommend clients do. I recommend video ads as you can get cheap clicks, very cheap clicks, very cheap views. And I'll show you an example of one of them that I'm doing for a local client in a minute. So video ads dominate. Uh, you can also do um, Content curation, so getting the content ready for them. Um, completely spelled that wrong, but I'll leave that for them. <laughs> content curation, so that's getting the content for them, organizing what they're going to be doing. So that could be memes, marketing con content, um, daily updates, motivation, news in their niche. Getting this content ready for them. Then you can offer the service of posting and scheduling this content at prime times. Now, my tool fit for Facebook, OctoSuite, does this for you very quickly. So you can find content quickly in OctoSuite, you can schedule it, you can upload it to Facebook. Even if you do this manually, it doesn't take too long, but it's a very um, monotonous task of dragging and dropping and scheduling and whatnot, where OctoSuite can set, do a lot of this for you very quickly. So, uh, But that's a service you can offer your clients. So. If you charge them, uh, we'll see about prices in a little bit, but say for those three there, 
just for your Facebook service fees, so that's not the Facebook ad budget, but finding content uh, for every single month for daily posts, and then posting and scheduling, and what that means in my mind is, I'm gonna get all the content and schedule it in advance, so then I'm done for that client for the month. You could easily, easily, easily charge $700 to $1,000 a month purely for that section there, not including the ad spend itself. And I'm going to show you how you can find the right clients for that that will easily pay you to do that. Because again, the number one objection I have found from clients is that, not objection, sorry, issue, that is that they don't have time to be doing this stuff themselves. If they're a lawyer, they don't have time to be mucking around on Facebook to try to figure out when I should be posting content and what content should I post, what are people liking, what are people engaging with. All they want is people coming through their door and they want their, their profiles to be updated regularly because if they don't, they look really bad. They look like they don't care about their business and it's a really good marketing angle to say to them, guys, you haven't done an update in six months. What are clients going to think about your business? You Google it, you Google your business name, your Facebook comes up, and there hasn't been an update for over half a year. Let me come in here and absolutely dominate this for you to ensure every single day new, fresh, exciting content is coming out, that there's going to be Facebook content in other people's news feeds that are your target market, that's going to build your brand, build your trust, and build your customers coming through your door. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys there. So posting, Facebook ads, content creation are the big three there. So we, we can, let's, do you guys want to have a look now actually at one of my actual real examples of a local client here? Uh, and I can show you here uh, one of my, uh, it's, it's a pretty cool concept, the actual business, let me show you. Because I think it's cool, I can talk to you guys about how this works, but let me show you an example um, of, an actual site. Super retro. So this is a small little um, retro game store that sells all the old Nintendo 64s, PlayStation 1s, Super Nintendos, all the old games and whatnot. Um, you can see here Mate, I'm just making sure you guys can see this okay because sometimes when I change screens, things get a bit fuzzy. You guys can see this all good, guys? Yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. So you can see here, they're selling retro games. You might think, how the hell do I promote retro games to anybody that, like who the hell is going to want to come in and, and find this really enjoyable? It's going to be a very, very small, small niche. And to find that niche is going to be very hard. There's probably a lot of people's um, mindsets, and that's going to be something that the customer, that the people that own the business might think as well. So what I did, I found a video. Let me just show you the video that I found, and I thought it was a cool little video. And you can see they're posting really cool content and whatnot here. Um, Maybe it's not posted in here, but let me just show the actual ad that I created from the video that I found from their profile here. And it basically, it was a little walkthrough of them going through uh, the shop using their iPhone to film it. And it always happens, doesn't it, when, um, when I'm on webinar, things are really slow here in Australia on the internet. Super Retro, here's my ads here. So let's see if this wants to show me it. One second, guys. Let me see if I can... Uh, a little drop shot down arrow isn't working. Notifications should allow. So you can see the return that we've got here. Cool, found it. Um, this is one of the two ads that I've been running. And you can see here we have reached 87,000 people. We have got over 60,000 views, over 516 likes, 102 shares. And look at this viral train of traffic um, of people tagging each other in this update purely because 
uh, people found this very, very engaging. And the beautiful part of this is, and this is what I recommend doing that I wish I could show you guys right now. I'm going to try again in a second. in last week's webinar with Adrian Morrison. If you haven't seen last week's uh, excuse me, uh, webinar with Adrian, it was to do with e-commerce and Facebook ads. I'll resend that to you guys at the end of this webinar here. And I highly recommend going through it. I use that exact strategy that he uses for e-commerce, but here for a local marketing business. So the crossover here is really, really good. Um, Someone said there's connection problems because there's a video playing. So let me click out of that. It should be better now. But um, what I did was oh, another video. Oh, another video playing. Here we go. Now it's all working for me. So manage ads. I'll show you how much I paid for that. Kim Lou says my 10 year old would love this site. Trust me, I'm 27 and I love this site. I could show you. I don't know if you can see. Like there is like an old school Nintendo 64 that I bought from them. <laughs> So, and there's another one over here actually. I've got too much Nintendo stuff around. Um, so this is my personal ad set here, just for my friend here, because I don't do most of my local marketing on this. I use my business manager. Uh, but let's see. Oh, it's all freezing for me here today, which is frustrating. But let me just go through. Uh, how I created that ad and how you can literally do the same thing for your client uh, very quickly. So what I would do, say you got a video, say it was a restaurant, I went into a restaurant and I filmed the outside of their restaurant, a little walkthrough of everything happening there and I wanted to post that as a marketing video. I'd upload it and i go video views. Let's call this example video food. I'm going to click OK there. Now again, all I did was Facebook, Ads Manager, and Create an Ad. Those three steps is all I did. Here comes my dog running into my place here. Um, what we're going to do here is click here. I'm going to click out of here. I'm going to click Gold Coast, Australia. Now you can see here it's selected an area for the Gold Coast out into the ocean as well, which is what I could do is pin it separately if I wanted to. Uh, I can drop a pin, say here, and then it's going to select a specific area around it. I can choose how many miles around it, uh, and so on and so forth. It's going to then show me how big my reach is for that specific location. So 2.3 million people, it's saying there right now, in that specific area there. Now, Toowoomba, that's getting a bit too far out, so I'm going to click out of that. I'm just going to do the Gold Coast. And there's 500,000 people there. Can you guys uh, see that okay? Right, yes in the box if you can see that okay. Yes, 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 yes. Ignite is Alex, Don, Scott, Johnny, awesome, cool. So that's all I did for that previous ad, guys. I added that in and what I went down, I then didn't choose ad groups. I didn't choose any target. I just left everything else as default. I changed this down to $5 a day, uh, and then we scaled it up to $10 a day. And then what I decided to do uh, is then kick continue. I wanted to do a single video. I uploaded the single video. I selected the fan page. And then I just added in some text here. It was saying something like, um, tag a friend who would love retro games, or you could say love, love a free drink, or some sort of reason to tag. So you would have some sort of incentive with a call to action, because as soon as you say a call to action, people will respond. It's one of the biggest things people don't do is add in a call to action. If I say, guys, click on this link right now, you guys are probably going to click on it if I asked you to nicely, right? Uh, if I said nothing at all about a link and I just posted it there, 
what are the chances of you going to click on it? Probably very small. I'm just closing this door. Uh, one second, guys. All right, cool. So that makes sense now. I'm hoping for you guys. Um, someone said the connection went out, so I have to see why this connection is being weird for some people a bit later on. Um, but that's all I did. Uploaded a video, did that, click place order, and then the video views started to roll in. And I think I've paid over two or three months, I think I paid uh, $500 in total for two lots of those videos. So over a million people, um, let me see here, not a million people, sorry. Um, I'm paying 0.1 cent per view for this video here and 0.02 cents per view for this one here. You can see the results, you can see the reach of this content uh, and you can see that it's extremely, extremely viral. So who here thinks they can do that uh, for their business here? If you think that's very easy to do, uh, someone says please zoom, right, I'll try to zoom this in. Oh. Oh, one sec, sorry. View. That's not letting me zoom here for some reason. Um, but basically here, 25,000 views, 54,000 reach, 0 0.01 cents per view, and I've only spent $300. Would your local marketing client be extremely happy if they got how many people saw 25,000 views, people actually actively engaging with their content uh, and clicking through potentially to their website for 300 bucks there. Very, very happy. That is it's very simple to do. It's something you can do very quickly and you can add it in right away. So let me just narrow this up for you guys. Before. Should be, that should look a bit better for you guys now. ads. Now, say I go on from there, you want to do Facebook content curation. Where do you find content? Well, the first thing you can do is search your competitors. So say I was a restaurant, I could then go in and actually see what my, my competitors are posting. So um, well, let's say I was a nightclub or let's say I was whatever. Why don't you guys give me an example? What would you like me to see uh, an area that I can find content for? Someone said that the connection is really bad. I think GoToWebinar has a part to do with that as well, guys. So let me just click out of my other browsers. Hopefully that'll clear things up a bit. I'm just going to click out of a few things to hopefully speed up the process here. Uh, let's see what your answers are. Let's start to hairdresser. That's um, very similar from the answers here. Hairdresser, cosmetic products, nail salon, jewelry seller. It's all going to be similar. So for hairdresser, um, what I would then do is I would go to Google. Well, the first thing you do is post pictures of influencers that have good-looking hair. Tag them in the update. It's going to help. It's going to show that you provided value to the influencer. They might come back, and you never know and actually see what your brand or business or local agency is about. Uh, and then find, and then help you there, uh, and then hire that person for that there. So what I'm going to do is Google um, hairdressing memes. So memes are a really fun way to provide value on social media. Um, so hairdressing is not a job, it's a craft. And you can add that as an Instagram update, as a Facebook update. Everyone loves my hair and cannot be happier. Uh, you can see there's so many different ones to do with hair here. Sorry, I can't hear you over the volume of my hair. Um, lots of different funny things you can use there. Hairdressing tips. So, hairdressing tips. There's tips here that you can use as content that provides value to your end audience. So that's another way you go through here, find some cool tips, and add it in there. Now, not only can you find pre-made images, you can actually Google 
top tips that people have written in text and then write beautiful hair um, and then take a picture like this and add in those top three tips as content to that piece of update. Now again, it might take a little bit of time, but say you find top 50 tips, just get, I don't know, 10, top, how many is that then? You say you wanted to do top five tips for every post, uh, grab a handful of pictures, write the content, schedule it out, set and forget it, and it's done for that client. And you can schedule inside of uh, Facebook. Let me show you how to do that quickly here. Let's say I went to, I don't know, let's say I went to Super Retro here and I wanted to actually post a scheduled update. I can go here, I can check in and whatnot. I can then go down here and schedule this content to go out on a specific date at a specific time. Once it's scheduled, it gets sent over to the scheduling section and it's done. The only thing I need is to become an admin of the page that I'm going to be marketing and managing, guys. So that's one thing you can do there for finding content and scheduling the content. And already, there's one nice little package for you guys to use there. Very, very simple to do, very easy and uh, quick to do. Um, Joe said quickly, um, why was the ad so cheap? Uh, video ads, guys, are very, very cheap to do right now. Facebook's trying to take over the YouTube market uh, and you can provide such a better message using video than a banner ad or something like that, which is why I always recommend to use video. There's no excuse for people not to use video because everyone has an iPhone now or Samsung or Android uh, and you can get very high quality video done very, very quickly and very cheap there. So let's just jump back over to the Word document. Uh, so you can see there, that's a Facebook package there. Now, Instagram. What can we offer for Instagram? Well, we can do the same thing. We can offer content, um, content uh, finding and scheduling. Just so I don't have to write another spelling mistake on the same page for you guys writing um, curation. Um, so if you can find the content and you can schedule it using Instamate. Again, Instamate 2.0 is coming out in the next couple of weeks for you guys. You get a free upgrade um, if you have it already, which is pretty, uh, which I thought was a pretty cool thing. That um, my screen went narrow. I think that's because of this, the way this is. Um, done here, one second. Oh, all right, we'll run it from there. So, content finding and curation. Yeah, some of you guys are already catching on right now. So, engagements, auto engaging. So what this means, who here, I'm sure everyone here has heard of InstaEasy. If you haven't, put a number six in the box if you haven't heard of InstaEasy. So if you, uh, if you have heard of it, or then you don't need to respond here, because I'm sure most people have heard of InstaEasy, what it does um, and whatnot. Because if you haven't, um, what I should say is if you don't have InstaEasy, put the number seven in the box. So I'll show you a manual way to do what InstaEasy does, but it is very, uh, time consuming and quite boring. Okay, there's a few sevens here, so let me just show you this right now really, really quickly. Um, we'll jump back over here. Actually, let's finish this off here quickly, so we'll, we'll go, come back to this. So there's auto-engaging here, with, which is why you can build your audience very quickly, and with InstaEasy, it's a set and forget method that you don't tell the local client that you're using, but it sends, sets their actual Instagram on auto engagements 24 seven. So engaging is another cool thing there. Instagram ads similar to Facebook, but I find right now Facebook ads are better for this than on Instagram uh, if you're gonna be doing paid advertising. Uh, and then shout outs from influencers, which you guys will all be able to do when I give you InstaFamous for free because you'll be able to find them, strike a deal for the client. Imagine if you went to a client saying, hey, uh, there's a local girl on the Gold Coast here or in LA, wherever it might be, that has four uh, million followers that I've got ready to come to your restaurant, have a free dinner, but she'll post to a four million followers tagging your actual location, your place, 
where you are and that she's having the best time ever putting her legitimacy of having 4 million fans onto your business. Who's going to say no to that? And secondly, no one is doing that, which is going to give you such a huge advantage in this space as well, which is what I'm very, very excited for. Um, everyone, similar questions coming in again. How do we get Instagramers for free? I'm adding you all in. When it's done, you guys don't have to do anything. I'll do it for you and add you and you'll get an email when that. Have uh, uh, your Instagram account order and engaging for the client, and then shout outs through influencers. But uh, those three together, keeping it simple, is a very, very powerful method to dominating on Instagram. Now, let me just jump over to Instagram so I can show you here um, and uh, how what this actually means in a real life example for those people that don't have Insta Easy. Um, so let's go here, let's type in something like, um, let's go to Instagram, sorry. So, say I was Nike, or Nike, I always use this example, and I want to go to Adidas or Adidas and find out and engage with the followers that are following my competitors. Click on Adidas. Now the beautiful thing about Instagram, unlike Facebook, is I can actually click on the followers of my competitors. I can then go out and follow them. I can click on their content. I can go in here. I can like their updates. I can comment. I can follow. And then people are like sheep. I follow, I follow a thousand people. Three hundred might, might follow me back if my account is providing good content. Now guys, if you're a local marketing agency, you can offer that to clients for free. You don't need to tell them that. What you would say to them is, guys, I'm gonna have your Instagram account engage with your competitors, followers, and people through hashtags, and even in your local area, um, through Instagram 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now you could do that manually, which would drive you insane, but instead of that, what's gonna happen is if you use Insta Easy, I'm gonna show, I'll show you that right now. Let me pause the screen for a second. Can you guys see my screen okay? Yeah, cool. Go to webinar having a mind of its own. Um, So this is inside Insta Easy. Many of you have it, but let's use this as a local marketing client tactic. I want to get this bigger. So I log in with my Instagram account. So now my Instagram account, Luke McGuire, is in here. I turn on likes. I turn on follows. Right now I'm unfollowing though, and then I enter the hashtags of my target market. Internet marketing. If I'm a local business, I might type in sales and nightclub here. I type in Gold Coast nightlife, Gold Coast nightlife, Australia nightlife, um, clubbing, whatever it might be. I uh, went then, and I would do the same for here. I can copy them across. Or this little button here. Many of you might not have seen this yet, but it allows you to copy your hashtags across rather than entering it. Something we did recently here. I can then follow recent followers from another profile. So I say I typed in, I don't know, um, Adidas again. There's one there, let's just use the same example. Click on Adidas here, Adidas Originals, Adidas Basketball. Then my Luke McGuire Instagram account, or for example, if I was Nike, my Nike Instagram account is going to follow the follow. And something we've added in recently as well. So if you have Instagram marketing, um, sorry, if you have, um, Insta Easy, this is something I want to make sure you guys have seen, this section here. So what this allows you to do is type in, say, Gold Coast. That's where I live. It's going to show me I can target all of the users on the Gold Coast on Instagram or even specific businesses on the Gold Coast. So let's say Sin City Gold Coast. Sin City Nightclub Gold Coast for the that actual example. I can click on that there. Sin City GC, another Instagram account they have. They have a few of them by the looks of it. 
I can do that there, and then I can even like pictures taken at specific specific venues. So Koi Broadbeach is a nice restaurant in Broadbeach. There it is with the address and everything. So my local business. Imagine if I was a little restaurant in Broadbeach, which is an area near me. I live in Broadbeach. I wanted to then get my, my following up on Instagram. Well, I'm the local marketing agency. I say, guys, I'm going to ensure your your actual brand. Um, let's say it was Luke's food. Luke's food is going to go out and engage with the followers of your competitors, the people that have been to your competitors' place. And then drive people through your doors as the new hot spot in your area. That, my friends, is going to be a killer picture. People are not going to want to say no to. And if they do say no, you can say, thank you so much for your time. I'm going to go to the next place. Uh, and I've got a breakdown of your actual place here as well. So honestly, um, I want to be exclusive with one person only and dominate the market for area. If you change your mind within the next 24 hours, please let me know. I would love to work with you as you were my first pick. If not, best of luck in future, and I thank you very much for your time. They're not going to want you to go anywhere else. They're not going to want you to dominate anyone else's business when they know that that's going to happen for you guys. So um, that's pretty cool there. So let's talk about pricing quickly for a second. Let's talk about pricing. Uh, let's jump over here. Uh, my Word document should be back up on the screen now. Let me know if you can see this okay. Cool. And guys are, who are asking all the questions, for some reason we have a lot of questions coming in today, which is why I've been a little bit distracted. But let's wait for the questions at question time at the end. I'm not ignoring them. We'll have a time for that at the end there. So. Let's type it and talk about pricing. So, well, let's talk about these packages we could do. We could do a Facebook package. And you can then decide what tiers you want to do. You can either have, uh, well, I've got this as the Instagram package, but say this was the Facebook package. So, that could be the third one. Here can we get. Um, the startup package is one that you're not really going to want to um, sell. And it's, so this is just a bit of a fluffer to add value add two and three, where I find you'll make the most money. This could be something like content creation and uh, content scheduling, which is something you could literally do in a day for the entire month. That still is high value. You advertise $500 plus a month purely for that service there. find the top content, we're going to break it up, we're going to make it viral, we're going to post it at prime times every single day for you. You will never have to worry about content going out to your page again and we're going to ensure that we get your analytics up, the engagement up and that when people, more and most importantly, Google your name, they, they see your Facebook page and it is up to date with fun, active content. Now, turn number two can be the traffic domination package. So this can be Facebook ads. Creation. This can be Facebook content and scheduling. This can be analytics, so you can just pull analytics out of Facebook. This can be um, split testing of content on Facebook ads. So you would break this down into the different sections that we had up here um, from your Facebook ads, your content creation, uh, and the posting and scheduling and whatnot. Then what we would even we could even do a retargeting campaign, and again we can talk about that in a future webinar. Basically, what that means is anyone that goes to their website, we can then target them on Facebook. You might have noticed, say, if you go to Amazon and you look at a kettle, all of a sudden, wherever you go on the internet, that kettle uh, is following you around like crazy. Similar to Ty Lopez, which we'll talk about in a bit. But that works really well because people don't buy often first go. They might buy the second or the third time they actually see your brand and retargeting is a good way to do that. So you would break that up there. And then the third domination package would be you would combine everything here. You might even want to include Instagram in this if you wanted to. Instagram, oh by the way, for this, you could charge 
$1,000 a month easily for that. Uh, and then for the package three, Facebook and Instagram, we would combine all this section here into this part here. Um, and then we would have, so then basically we could charge, let's say we charged, let's, let's just be reasonable and provide huge value. Let's say this is 13, 1300 for that service there um, for the month. So every single month they're going to pay you that much for those things there. Instant, you, can, you can set half that stuff on autopilot from all the content going out, auto engagements. The only manual things you'll have to do there is striking a deal with influencers and passing the deal on to the actual brand to see if they want to pay for that on top for that shout out. Uh, you wouldn't actually include that, take that out of your $3,900 because you wouldn't even be making money. And some of you guys might be thinking that these prices might be, might be big. Um, you might think that, I used to think that, I still do think, um, I'm always about over delivering and value, but I've been in the place before where I've over delivered and undercharged and there's nothing worse than that. And honestly, if a small business can't be paying you at least $1,000 a month, um, $250 a week out of their business, they're probably not going to be a long-term client. And we want to actually build this business with long-term scalable clients. So in saying that, let's talk about niches that would be good to target in a local marketing client. So why don't you guys throw out some, um, yeah, Bob says he thinks that's a low price. Bob, you might think that's a low price, but think about it this way as well. Imagine if you, you can sign 10 people that can afford uh, $1,300 a month that when basically you're, you're going to have to do a little bit of work at the start, you'll automate most things for every single month. Facebook ads are going out on their own, your engagements are going out on their own. The work you have to do is finding content and scheduling it on one single day. You could do that very quickly for a client. $1,300 times 10, uh, you have 10 clients, that's over 10 grand a month easy, right? So for doing not too much work, and I'm sure who here would be happy with 10 grand a month for doing that amount of work? I'm sure, uh, I wanna, I'd say put your hand up, I'd love to see you guys. We've got Kimberly, big one saying me, all the capitals, oh yeah, from Michael, Emmanuel, oh yes, most, yeah, lots of you guys, hands up, hands up, awesome, <laughs> yeah, see? That's what you guys can do, that's what I did. But then what you can even do is scale that up to even a higher level. For example, let's talk about niches. You want to go for higher pricing or even if you want to start off with that actual um, section there, what would you do? Well, niches. Let's talk about some high profit niches. Restaurants. We've got nightclubs. We've got surgeons. We've got lawyers. We've got accountants. Now, I, I want to talk about people like lawyers and accountants, uh, even restaurants as well. These are different services that have a big client base and the word of mouth is huge. If, imagine if you sign an accountant, guys, they have a huge book of recurring customers. They might, if you do a good job for them, they'll, they'll, they'll pass it on to their clients. They'll share your name around. People are going to be coming to you when you do a good job for these people. That's why I said, write down my girlfriend's Instagram account before because that's a really good example of showcasing her own abilities on her own brand. Dentist, good one. Let's see what else. You guys got any other ones you have? Yeah, and I'll send you guys this Word document as well. Travel agents. Jewelers. Bob, you're, you're an animal here. You got some good ones here. Um, bed and breakfast. Nice ones there. What else you guys got? Real estate. Real estate is an awesome one, guys, because you can go out, you can do more with that. <clears throat> you can even include this here, Facebook Live. Imagine if you're at an open house, you charge them on top of it to go out to their, their open houses and doing a Facebook Live walkthrough of the open house. People that can't make it there that day, people that are interstate, people that are all around the place that can't see the house, they want, they want it, but they're interested in it. You do a Facebook Live for a real estate agent, no one does that. That's going to blow people's minds and they're so far ahead of the game. Excuse me. Um, 
Pyropactor. Roof repair, that's an interesting one. Pub. Architects wine tour. Auctioneer. Auctions live. Yeah, oh, let's go. That's a great one. So we can do. Let's just write this in here at the top point. Um, Facebook live for open home and uh, auction. Lots and lots of ones. Tattoo shops, not another good one. Tattoo shop, if you're interested in that niche. Filming a bunch of their actual final pieces or while the tattoos are happening, showing the clean, the clean environment, showing the staff, making it an exciting place rather than when a lot of people could be scared to get a tattoo, right? Um, I don't have any tattoos. On a side note, I was once in Thailand when I was backpacking um, and I got way too drunk one night. I'm not a big drinker now, probably from this experience. Went to a tattoo place, was going to get some weird phoenix on my shoulder. Uh, they said I was too drunk. Thank goodness for that because my family would not have been happy and neither would I. Um, that's, and that's, that's a story for another day. Um, football clubs, yeah, you guys get the idea. These are good niches to target because these local businesses have money to pay you. They are, it's very easy to find content for these niches. Um, and even if you think it's not, so you might think, what do I post for an accountant? What do I post for a lawyer? If I was a lawyer and I wanted to post high value content, I would say, guys, we need to get you, if I was a lawyer, let's say, I want to know what my rights are for if I get pulled over for, over for the police. Get them to film a 30 second video, a 60 second video of the top three rights you have if you get pulled over by the police. Or if I'm going out to buy a first home, what are my legal things I need to know? How, where do I get my first home owner's grant? Where do I, um, what, other things I should know when looking to buy a house. What laws should I know? Do I have a will? No. What is a will? Why is it important to have uh, and whatnot? Or if you get in a car crash, what are the first three things you need to do? This is value content that people would like to see on Facebook. There is value content in any niche whatsoever. Accounting, not another good one. You might think it's a boring niche, but there is value there. What is uh, a top three tips on how to save tax. What are the biggest things you need to look for in an accountant? What value um, is your current accountant giving you and are they, are they doing these things for you? You need to find out from the actual business what they found the biggest objections are to their local industry, what people are screwing up the most. This is what I do with anything. Even when I do product reviews. Top, sorry, I, I sometimes go on tangents here and have these light bulb moments. Top three benefits of the business. I normally do top three benefits of a product coming out. Top three reasons why they are better than the competitors. And then I always say top three to five result based proof um, of their business we can use here. So have they won any awards? What are they knowing for? What's their credibility? What's their legitimacy? You get that information. You can then say this content and say, oh, by the way, we'd love you to come into the number one um, tattoo shop on Australia or the number one pub on the Gold Coast that, that makes the best uh, chicken schnitzel for 2016 or whatever it is. Every business will have some sort of creative advantage there that, that makes them better than anyone else that they'll say and give it to you there. Um, so that's a pretty cool uh, section there. Um, I'm just reading through a few comments here to make sure you guys got it all good. Um, cool, so that makes sense there. So that's a really cool area here. So let's see what we've got next on the list here. Okay, so what I'm going to give you guys now, I'll send this out afterwards as well. I'm going to go over this quickly, then we're going to jump into, um, we'll, we'll, I'll show you this now, we'll jump into the ties agency there so I can, we can pull some valuable tips out of that and share that with you there. But let me give this to you here as a free little gift for being a part of it. Hold on. So you guys should, should be able to see this in that says Facebook advertising questionnaire, right? Let me know if you guys can see this okay.
and everyone will get both of these notes. I'll send these notes out afterwards. Um, this, yeah, this looks a bit small here. Let me just zoom this in a bit. Um, one second. How's that look? That look better for you guys? Or do I need to zoom in a bit more? Looking better, better, better. Cool. See? Yeah, it's crazy. I'm very good at everything else, but trying to find the zoom option, not so good. So, this is what I'm going to give you guys. This is what you do first. So, a lot of you may be nervous when you're going to a local marketing company. You might think to yourself, okay, I'm going to have this meeting with them. I know what I'm going to say, but what if they say, what's going to be my return on investment? Or what's this going to be? Or what's this going to be? Or how many people will I reach? These are questions which you can find out if you wanted to do some background research first, which you can. But what I always say to everyone, and it makes you have a breather as well, this is going to be your fail safe, not even your fail safe. This is just a comforting thing if you have a uh, personal, if you're a bit scared, if they ask you questions you might not be sure about. So who in here might say it might be a bit scared, right? Hashtag um, me if that's you. So I want to see if you're a bit nervous and you might be thinking, look, I love this idea, but what if they ask me questions I'm not sure about? Um, I'm not going to read your names out. I just want to see who is in that boat, and then I can adjust this webinar accordingly. Because you know, sometimes I have really um, set out webinars as slides. Sometimes I like to go on the fly because I like to see what the audience viewing is like. Yeah, time. This is live, by the way. 100% um, live. Yeah, Matt says, don't kid yourself, it's everybody. Same with me, honestly. I used to be really nervous. Now I'm not, not nervous. I still get a bit excited, but that's probably how I view my nerves now. I can view nerves as being scared as shit, or I can view my nerves as a bit of an adrenaline and a bit excited because I've done it so many times now, I'm not too scared about it, right? Same with webinars. I used to be scared of doing them. Now I love doing them, and I thought, how can I speak for 20 minutes, let alone an hour, and then already now it's been, I think we've been over an hour now anyway, it's probably an hour and 24 minutes, right? So a lot of people are very intimidated. So what you do is, once you get to that point, they might ask you questions saying, so what's going to be the return? How is this going to be like this? Questions you might not be able to answer then and there. This is what you give them. This is what you say. You say, all right, guys, so rather than me telling you right now, I've figured out in my head, now that I understand your business a bit, a bit more, what goals you're going after, I'm going to give you this questionnaire which is, which is going to allow me to break down your target market on all of the social networks. This is the questionnaire here. So what it's going to do is ask them about their specific target market. You can see here I said about your target market. Um, it's amazing how many people fill this out and fill it out about themselves. So they'll be like, age, I'm 27, income, they'd say what their income is. That's not what this is about. This is about finding out the target market of their audience. So, if, so say, I was a, um, say I was a lawyer doing wills. Um, it could be either low, the, um, very young people who are setting up their first will. So, that would say what the age of the target market is, if they have children, if they're married, if they're not. These are all things we can find out inside of Facebook ads. We can target people throughout their ages and whatnot, like I showed you before. We can target people in specific areas <coughs> if they have employment. So these are things we can find out information about their demographic. Now, as I said before, with Facebook ads, I like to do zero targeting. But in saying that, it's sometimes good to split test it with what they think they know about their target market as well. So it's going to and it's going to give you information about their company. So what what would you say sums up your company in two sentences? If they can't say that to you in two sentences, you can go back to them and say that. Well, this is what we think it is in two sentences. Um, why don't I show you the product? What are the key values? Instagram top five competitor names. Um, related hashtags, local businesses. Now, when you find out the competitor names, a really cool feature inside of Instagram is their recommendations. So I might show you this. Uh, let me just see if I can get it up quickly, just because I like to show real examples. Uh, it, it, will, it will enable you to find a lot more competitors. Uh, I'm just going to try to sync this with my computer. 
Sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. This should work though for you guys. Um, one second. Let me just get up a local business. Let's say uh, this should work here. Can you guys see my actual phone okay here? Now, there's a big butt here as a piece of content, which is, I don't know, probably good for a nightclub. This is the nightclub I was telling you about. It's a pretty gross, uh, you know, it's, I haven't been there in years, but last time I went there, I didn't have a good time. I don't really go clubbing anymore, to be honest. If I do, I'm sober and leave early. But this here, what Instagram allows you to do, say I was a nightclub on the Gold Coast, and I wanted to find out other target markets or other competitors that I can find content from, get inspiration from, provide my actual client. You give me five, here's another 10 competitors that I found for you guys that we're gonna dominate. Um, so we're gonna go follow. And you can see here suggested for you other nightclubs on the Gold Coast, people that work at these nightclubs. So I could then enter their usernames into InstaEasy and target them and their followers because their friends probably go to the nightclubs that they work at. The Met Brisbane, another nightclub. And so on and so forth. So it's found a lot of people here that are like, um, that are on the Gold Coast that probably go to these nightclubs in these areas. So it gives you suggested friends. You can do that for any niche whatsoever. So I wanted to show you that really quickly there. We'll go back to the actual questionnaire here. We're gonna have a drink of water, like someone just mentioned, which is a good idea. I almost just choked them my water because someone just said in the comments, Brandon said, I won't say his last name, he goes, looks like a fun place for me. Um, Frank, my internet could be lagging, I'm not sure. I can turn my webcam off if people are having an issue. Um, but uh, hopefully it's okay. I like, to, I like to stay visual with you guys. Now we've got an SEO questionnaire down here. You can delete this if you guys want to. It doesn't have to be there, but um, I sometimes teach people how to outsource to SEO companies to do the work for you. You can put a clip on top of it. So say it's $800 a month for SEO, charge them 1,000, make 200 bucks for doing nothing. And then my keyboard just lost its actual, um, its actual battery again, which I just replaced it with new ones. Let me just try add this in again. Hopefully that doesn't stay there for too long. If so, that's ridiculous, but I can speak to you guys here for a second here. So that's gonna be included here for you all. Um, oh, good. Or maybe not. See, it's crazy how this works when you just do actual product and then it doesn't work. We continue on from here right now. Um, maybe I can pull up a virtual keyboard. Oh, I can't even write keyboard. Ah, oh, that's ridiculous. No, I'm not going to delete this, guys. Let me save this for you here so you guys ensure that you will be okay. I might pull up this other computer now to see if I can pull this up um, on my desktop here. Uh, if you guys have questions now, why don't you guys ask me a few questions while I redo this keyboard here for you guys. And I'll answer them in a second. Cool, so let's see what we've got. Can you tell me how to get the engagement section on Facebook ads? Keep getting another screen without engagement. If you want to send me an email, I'll walk, I'll walk you through it there and I'll do a little video. Actually, I'll do a little video and I'll add it to this in the replay for you guys for that. Uh, what is the name of the SEO company for outsourcing? So with SEO, I've been in and out of so many different SEO companies because they promise results and then they under deliver over and over and over. Um, I'd personally be looking for someone that, that charges a bit more, someone that's in your country because um, or someone that's outside of these uh, cheap countries because SEO isn't a cheap thing to do. There's people that say they can do it really cheap and all this stuff. There's people that make all these promises 
um, but actually um, you never get ranked ever, which really sucks and it really infuriates me in this industry. So um, yeah, just make sure you find someone in your local com country that uses the work, that does the work in your country as well. Um, what are some good tips for making a Facebook ad go viral? So video ads, very easy to go viral. Um, even, if, even if you find a viral piece of content and post it as a video ad, like we do in Viral Autobots and Octosuite, but in the actual tagline above, you use your actual call to action there. That's a really neat way to do that. Um, dollar package and the Instagram packages. Um, yeah, if you want me to fill that out a bit more so it's a bit of a template for you guys, you can do that. Instamake 2.0, that is coming in a couple of, um, by the end of the month, Instamake 2.0 should be ready. So let me just, I'm just signing in to go to webinar on my other account here because I've got some pretty, well, my favorite part of this webinar is coming up now, but can you believe that my keyboard has stopped? I, I, I can't believe it, but, oh wait, I think we're good. Maybe not. This one here is flashing for me. Let me just try connecting with this. Um, um, if you offer a local business in advertising, i.e. influencer service, how do you stop them from thinking they can use Instafamous themselves. Well, most likely they probably won't hear of Instafamous. It'll be you that uses Instafamous and then goes to them uh, and actually, um, and then do, does the influencer marketing themselves. They're busy running their own business, so they're not going to be actually thinking about how can they actually go out um, and do their own uh, influencer marketing. They're going to be wanting to make food for their restaurant or they're going to be wanting to do something else. People are happy to pay other people for uh, their services if they're experts in that service, right? So I want to think too hard about them going into our and do their own influencer marketing. Um, you guys are really cool. Is it Bluetooth? Um, yeah, disable my Bluetooth driver and re-enable. Re I can turn Bluetooth off. I just don't want that to actually... Um, Turn, um, turn off the mouse completely as well because if it does, then I'm screwed. But let's just give it a go. All right, so they can't turn it off at this time, which is great. Let me just give this one more go, and then I'll jump across. It's very frustrating because I can see it here. Um, and it's just not connecting for some reason. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna edit this. I'm gonna add in. I'm just gonna add in another organizer here, so I can use my laptop. And then get that part of it. Okay, that's been added there. Oh wait, there we go, pair. So, isn't that Murphy's Law? Is it going to connect? Um, six. Oh, we can, uh, thank you guys so much for this waiting because, where's return? Okay, see so that's, we're, we're connected again now after I've got my other laptop up, I've added myself as an organizer and I don't know why that happened. Thank you guys all very much for waiting. So you guys are awesome. How many people did I lose during that process? Actually, attentiveness kind of went up during that. Uh, maybe you guys want to see me changing the batteries a little bit more um, in future, but that is ridiculous. So if you're still here, right, I'm here. I want to see who's still here. <laughs> We've still got hundreds of people in here, but I know I would have lost a few people then from that boring part. Oh, okay, you guys are good. I want to, um, I should Snapchat this a bit later on. 
Cool, everyone's here. It seems like everyone's enjoying this. How can you get a copy of what we're showing? I've said this, but I'm going to send out all these documents to you guys afterwards. So that makes sense for you guys. This overview of this document, you send this to people after you meet with them for the first time, you go in deeper, you come back to them with a marketing plan that's a bit more strong. Um, I'm actually going to be, in future, going to be doing a little course on this where I'm going to actually give you guys the business plans that I use. I'll show you a little teaser here, one that Amanda did. Actually, no, I, I can't show you this one, unfortunately, because it has client details in it. But um, I'll, I'll show you the template that I use here for that. So um, I'll, I'll send that out a bit later on as well. Sending doc wet documents where I'm going to send them to your email that you use to get to this actual um, webinar, and I'm also going to add them into the Facebook groups as well. Replay will be available today as well, but we're not done yet. So, who here is excited and is actually going to go ahead and create their own actual local marketing business? Because again, other people pay you to do the work and I can show you here how to do the work very, very easily. So a lot of people are saying yes here, me, I am. Uh, Paul says iPad. Guys, I'm going to be skipping away an iPad later on in this webinar, right? So a lot of people are going to be doing this. Some people are saying possibly. Some people just like the concept of it here as well, which I'm, um, which I'm happy you guys are getting some value out of this, whether you do this or not. But I'm telling you guys here, there are two key ways I really see most people that are getting started or that have started but are wanting to actually scale up a bit more and get results in the space right now. The first is local marketing because it makes sense. It's been around forever. There's always been local marketing, whether it would have been offline marketing initially, online marketing, SEO, now, now social media, and now there are tools that can minimize your time and you can really make a nice income very quickly while doing this. So that's one of them. The other one is through e-commerce, which I taught, like, which Adrian Morrison uh, specifically came in last week and taught on webinar there as well. Um, and he was showing you a great way you can get started with uh, no money um, or next to no money really uh, through a really cool um, free plus shipping model that he uses there as well. There are two key ways I see right now that people can get start, get results quick. Obviously, you can make money by creating your own product and launching it. You can make money by affiliate marketing, but affiliate marketing is quite harder because you need to have trust with an audience, building an audience, building an email list, and there's all steps to do that as well. Local marketing here is very, very quick because you can see and take the tools that I've given you already here, take this information and go to a local business and sign them up today. Now, I'll quickly go Google. Um, this is what I do to find to actually find clients. You can Google. Not, uh, well, first of all, you do the, the Instagram way that I showed you before, where it shows you the competitors. Because say I went to the Sin City nightclub, they said no. Well, I've got their whole list of other competitors there. I just change the names out of who the plans for, and then I'm good to go for the next client, right? I can Google nightclubs on the Gold Coast. I can even go and show you a bunch of them here. I can click on maps here, and I can type in. It's got all the different nightclubs here. I can type in restaurants Gold Coast, restaurants near me, restaurants Sydney, and this just this can keep on going and going and going. I can go through all the pages here, and it's going to show me so many local leads. It's like, don't fear rejection. I look at rejection as say I contact ten people, four people might say yes. One person might say yes. Who cares if nine people say no? As long as one person says yes, that's $1,300 in my pocket every single month, right? Don't fear rejection. It's just another number to get to someone saying yes, and you get better as more and more as you do this, right? Um, so that's uh, pretty good there for you guys there. Um, I'm just looking at a few questions here. So that makes sense for you guys there. So. I've given you the template. You need a domain name. You need a website. You need to think of a business name. You need to think about how you're going to launch it initially. You need to think about how you're going to create your website. 
Uh, you're going to think about what am I going to price my products and services at? What um, and you might want to be wanting a bit of more information on how to go further with doing that. So that's why when I saw this Ty Lopez guy coming out with this new social media influencer product where he's aiming to make, uh, I think he wants to get $500,000, $100,000 um, testimonials within six months or something crazy. I was like, these are big calls, but at the same time, uh, he's not planning to make millions of dollars overnight. Whereas a lot of people, there's a lot of hate sometimes around people who are the biggest in their industry. And I wanted to get rid of the hate and have a completely unbiased approach to this guy's product and see what it's all about. So who here has heard of Ty Lopez's social uh, social media marketing agency? You might have seen it on his Snapchat. Um, a lot of people are saying yes. If you have seen it, heard of it, say yes. If you haven't, just say no. Uh, Serene says I'm in it. So yeah, cool, you're in it. Um, I wish you, uh, so what do you think about it, Serene? I wanna see what you think. Lots of people saying yes, a lot of people saying no. Um, and whatnot. So, I oh, my thing at the top. No, no, no. So basically, let's let's um let me YouTube Ty Lopez for you guys. He has one. He's in the top ten TEDx talks of all time. There's a lot of people that hate on him. Um, there's a lot of people that love him. Um, we'll go over to his. He'll be everywhere. So now that I've been to his actual app, he's going to be everywhere. Here's him with Rihanna. Here's him. These are all his cars, and he's doing a thing right now. A lot of haters are saying that. There aren't his Ferraris and Lamborghinis and Bentleys and Aston, all, all these cars he has. But he did a video yesterday saying, anyone who hates and thinks it's not true, donate money here, I'm giving it all to charity and then I'll prove it to you that they are mine and if I don't, I'll double your money back or something ridiculous like that. But he puts so much content out there, it's ridiculous. He almost has 100,000 subscribers here on Instagram, over a million. He's all over the place and he provides a lot of value content that I find. But who cares about him and what he's done? What can he do for you guys? Um, and I, that's what I thought. I was like, what can he do? What is the actual course that he's launching? Is it any good? Because, you know, at the end of the day, info products, when you learn from someone, like you've come on this webinar now, hopefully learn something from the information that I've taught you. Software is great, but at the end of the day, if there's no one to connect the dots for you, how can you put it together? And that's what uh, Ty Lopez's social media agency court, um, course is mentioned about. So I got access to it and I wanted to break down and go through some key things I want you guys to think about as well, whether you get this or not, because I can, and I've got this for almost half price for you guys, and I'll show you that's not bullshit. I've actually spoken to his team and said, can you do an actual good deal on this um, versus what's online? Um, but you can see here, this is Ty Lopez's course here. Now, right now, there's 54 video training sessions in here. They, are, they, they range from, I think, half an hour to over an hour, some of them a couple of hours. And it's not just Ty Lopez, and it goes over things that are very, that are much more structured with business and local marketing businesses from. How do you name your company? How do you form your company? Picking a domain name, we touched on that today. Telling your story through social media. So he's very good at creating a brand around you as a person as well and a brand around your company and he shows you how to do this. So he says here, brand the story will grab your audience, pull them in and then it'll sell to them. How to set up, their client, um, set up pricing. And without selling yourself short, this is something that I learned quite a bit from when watching this video here. Getting clients without expertise, it's a numbers game. So if you if you get five clients, would you rather 10 clients at $1,300 or three clients at $30,000 or whatever it might be like that? And you guys can get those really high ticket clients as well, but if you're just getting started, focus on the lower ones. Uh, go through how to monetize yourself, um, how to motivate yourself from your past fears. Really good mindset training here that I've liked to see with local businesses. Then it gets into how to actually use Facebook marketing, Twitter marketing, social media marketing. Um, it pulls in some other industry experts like SEO here, uh, Instagram growth. I think my Instagram training is better. Um, uh, advertising on YouTube which is something that I'm actually going to watch after this because he just kills you there on there, right? Um, <laughs> reading some of the comments over here. Um, getting customers to write for you. So that's that's a really cool one that I didn't touch on here, but getting customers to write content 
for you so then you can then just go out and schedule it because at the end of the day, customers often know their business, well they should know their business better than anyone else and if they can write content for you, especially the in, excuse me, in-depth salesy type content, this is, uh, this is a really good way that shows you how to get them to do the work for you. Website optimization. So this could be a really good way. Um, this is a nice way to get people in. Uh, and Ty talks about this and it's a tactic I did learn from him where he says if you go into a local client, you don't want to beat up on their business. You want to actually uh, make them feel good about it but then show them how it can be better. So you can say, hey, hey John, look, you have a beautiful site. Your site looks stunning but did you know it's not optimized for Google? Did you know uh, it should have this on it? Did you know that your Facebook account hasn't been updated in a couple of months because it looks great but we need to be putting this content out there. It could be a lot better and I could easily double the amount of traffic coming to your sites but more importantly double your sales coming into your store and let me show you this right now. Let me do a scan, send in the questionnaire that I gave you guys and then you get that actual return there. That's a nice way of actually doing that stuff here and it helps you a lot here. It goes on and on and on and on. So that's, that's the actual core course itself. You can see here the course itself breaks down into three, uh, sorry, four different months. First 30 days it goes over. Then this is through live training outside of this content here. So how to pick your niche for your company, how to get started on practicing uh, social media marketing on your own business and whatnot. Um, a lot of you might already be past that step. There. Practicing um, some time. Uh, you can see here the different steps it goes through: how to close clients, how to price it, how to structure it. Structure is key here with a local business, and something that I'm uh, always learning on. I'm very um, unstructured a lot of the time, and I'm trying to get a bit more structured here. So, and then the last month it shows you how to automate a lot of these processes. So. What I wanted to do here is not only if you guys wanted to be a part of this, I'm not going to stay on this section for too long um, because this isn't a salesy webinar, but if you are thinking about doing local marketing, I highly, highly recommend picking up this course. And again, I'll show you how much it is on here. It's quite expensive here, but you can see here, this is what it is online. So I wouldn't be clicking on this link or going through this way here. The sales page is very, very, uh, plain, uh, which I kind of like, and it goes through all the different steps that you're going to be learning here. Um, so how to automate your social media marketing, how to start your agency, how to name your company, how to um, a lot of stuff in the American space that I'm not sure about, how to start a generic LLC and whatnot. Um, you can see a bunch of stuff that you can learn here. The beauty of this is a 120 day money back guarantee. 120 days. So it says here that if uh, when you get to go through this program, if you do not base, and I'll read you exactly what it says. The social media certification program is designed to walk anyone through getting their first $1,000 a month client. Everything is given to you. Um, you have all the tools needed. We're so confident in this program. We'll give you four months to get your first one month client. And if you don't close a $1,000 a month client, not only will they be shocked and amazed the refund your investment. So that in itself is ridiculous. Four months, I've never seen anyone do that. And if you don't get a $1,000 client, then um, then they're going to refund you their money. So taking that on from there, basically, there's three fast action bonuses here. A ticket to one of his events, uh, access to one of his light, latest programs on how to create a cool lifestyle. He lives a pretty insane lifestyle. Um, then you'll get to be added into the site dedicated to social media training experts and whatnot. Kind of cool bonuses, but at the end of the day, if you don't get a thousand dollar a month client, you get your money back. Now, on this site here, on entire site, it's a thousand dollars, I think. A thousand dollars on this site, and I said, guys, do better than this for me. Do better than this for me for my audience. And what I actually did was instamate.com forward slash um, Thai VIP. I'm going to copy this across. It should be this link. Uh, $697 one time fee. So basically, if you don't make $1,000, which is going to give you a couple of hundred dollars profit through picking this up, 
you are going to get um, your money completely refunded. So it's a win-win either way. You either get your first thousand dollar a month client really quickly, or you get your money back uh, and you have nothing to lose. So you're going to make money by picking this up. Basically, is what they're saying. I'm going to send this link over to you guys here, and what I'm going to be doing as a bonus for you guys um, is. Whoever picks this up, I'm actually going to go ahead and take away some of the initial startup costs for you. So you're going to have to buy a domain name. I'll buy the domain name for you. You're going to have to host your site. Hosting costs. Hosting is basically where your site is hosted. I should say that again. Hosting is where the site files of your site are held. They're held on someone's computer uh, or a hosting company's computer, basically. So every time I type in your email, sorry, your website, those files get pulled. And what happens is you then get displayed the site. That's a monthly cost that you would have to cover. Instead of that, I'm going to cover your hosting costs for a year and host it on my hosting account. This means you don't have to pay for a domain name and there's no monthly costs for hosting for you for the first year. Then I, and I might even host it for longer than that, but I just want to give you guys a time frame that after a year, I'll give you your files, you can add them to your own hosting, uh, but I'll probably just leave them on there for a Longer. I'm pretty good at forgetting and just over delivering like that. Um, so in saying that, that's what you're going to get there. You're going to go to instamate.com forward slash Thai VIP. If you want to read the actual story and everything and what's actually included again, um, .com slash Thai, just go to instamate.com forward slash Thai. Check out the chat box on the side on the chat. This is a no-brainer to pick up if you're going to be doing local marketing. If you are, please get this because this is going to give you the walkthrough of how to do this properly so you don't screw up. Yes, in this one moment right here, I showed you some really good actionable content, but you're starting a business. And for just $697, um, this is a no-brainer. So I said the two ways to really kill it is through local marketing or through e-commerce. So Adrian's way last week, that was uh, that, that's an insane offer that he had there. And it's all about spoon feeding you through the way uh, that people have had the success here. So Ty Lopez, again, the number one social entrepreneur in the world, the number one social media marketer in the world right now. Everywhere else, even on his site, it's $997 here. $697 just for you guys, my audience here. I will take over every, all the hosting costs for your website for a year. I'll even install, what I'll do as well, I'll even install WordPress on to your website so you don't have to actually go out uh, and figure out how to install it either. So I'll set up WordPress and then we'll actually do a webinar. I'll throw this in right now as a bonus. We'll throw in an actual live webinar um, where we'll create an actual website through WordPress itself. How does that sound? So let me just uh, jump back over to a Word document quickly here and then we'll move on in a minute. But I want to just make sure if you're going to be doing local marketing, this is really a no-brainer and it's been, it's a rare opportunity where you can actually go out and um, pick up something that's not in the, that is normally in the high ticket bracket over my thousand dollars plus. This is going to go up to two thousand dollars, Ty told me. Um, whether that's, that happens or not or when it happens, I'm sure it will happen but I'm not sure when. Um, all the time. Uh, I'll go Seven thousand people. But go to instamate.com slash VIP if you are going to be doing local marketing. If you're not going to be doing local marketing, then you don't need to. But I highly recommend if you're going to be doing uh, local marketing to pick this course up if you can do it. Instamate.com slash Thai if you want to read about it. Again, there is a 120 day money back guarantee. That means it's zero risk, guys. And what I'm going to do, actually, you know what, for that actual thing before, I'm, I'm going to see how many people are in. If you're in, let me know who, if you're in. Right, I'm in if you're in. Raymond's in. I want to see who's in because I'm going to be doing something special for the people who are in right now. Carlos, Wilson, David, guys, this is like, I'm not just being silly here. Like, this is going to be a killer thing for you guys. Perry, Patel. Jeremy, Carlos, Peter, Ivan, or Rebecca, guys, Bruce, Frank, no thanks, that's totally cool. Jane, uh, Nathan, you won't miss the price if you go through my link. 
Imran, you're doing OMG, which is fine. You're doing a similar thing where you're going to be doing local marketing, but with SEO. So that's totally fine. Is that if you want to just do it because if you're going to be doing local marketing, this will save you money. Not only let's let's go over this quickly again here. Local marketing, 120k. So um, sorry, 120 day money back for six nine seven. If you don't get your first 1k client through the program, so that means. You either will get at your 1k client doing this where you will make at least what's that 300 bucks, which I can tell you you're gonna make a lot more than that. But this guarantee is one that goes for four months, three months down the track, you don't want it, ask for a refund, you get one, which is insane, and no one does that, right? Secondly, it's going to give you the, the actual setup if you're serious about doing local marketing and local businesses to do this properly. Um, I didn't show you in there as well. There's Chris Record in there um, doing training on Facebook ads, other Facebook ads experts. It's not just Ty. He brings in some of the best of the best into the social media course. Plus, you get the monthly training live with him, get a ticket to his event, uh, and you get his other course for free there as well. So. On top of that, I'm going to bonuses that are mine. I'm going to buy your domain name. So for this guys, just really quickly, you need to you need to go to Namecheap and find the domain name you want. Let me know at Luke at social media mention.com with your receipt. I'll buy that domain name for you, okay? I will then Host this for you. So that means I'm going to actually remove every hosting cost for you, which is a monthly fee through Bluehost, GoDaddy, Namecheap, wherever it may be. I will host your site for you for one year. One year I'll host that for you. Boy, I'm going to just do that just for the top. Uh, let's say let's say top 40 people that pick this up right now, because after that um, it's going to get a bit silly. I only want the top 40 to do that here, otherwise it'll be a lot of effort. Um, to continuously doing that over and over again for the long run. So top 40 that are action takers now, I'll do that for all here. Uh, and then what we're going to do as well is webinar going over the basics of um, WordPress. And we might even go over, I'll go over my girlfriend's market moose website and I'll give you the theme, I'll share with you the theme that we use for the Market Moose site. So if you like our website, we can copy that directly and add that in to your actual um, WordPress site. So I'll send you your logins and everything, but make sure you do that there. So anyone that hasn't said I'm in before that's jumped in now, let me know. I want to see what you guys have here. Um, Bruno, I'll be using it on my hosting company, so I won't be buying you your own hosting company. I'll actually host you on mine. And if you already have your domain name, you can use it. Um, awesome, guys. So you make sure you go through that link. Who's on the fence? If you're on the fence, tell me right now what the question is, and we'll stay on this for one more minute. Then we'll move on, and I want to show you guys something else uh, at, at completely unrelated to this here, but then we'll give away an iPad. But I want to see here who is on the fence and who is, uh, if you have a question right now, because again, I can tell you, I'll count how many people are in so far. Raymond, Carol, Wynn, Wilson, Jane, David, Jeremy, uh, there's a lot of people in right now. Thanks, so Johnny, why are you on the fence? Danny, right now there isn't actually a plan here for this right now. Uh, $697 one time with an actual four month refund guarantee, which is unheard of, I've never seen it done before. Um, I think it's a pretty damn good de good deal if you're going to be doing local marketing. Serene says she wish she wishes she got in on my deal here because she uh, obviously has joined previously um, with um, with the program when it went a thousand dollars. But in saying that, Serene, because you're on this webinar, I will happily um, honour my bonuses here to you as well. Chris, if you're on the fence for that reason, just uh, honestly, I'll, I'll leave this open for a couple of days and since you're on this webinar, um, or one of the first to watch the replay as well, if you're watching the replay, I'll leave that for you guys as well. 
Uh, Raymond says, love your training and special offers. Yeah, guys, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to always over deliver for you guys. I'm pretty cutthroat when it comes to most reviews. I can definitely admit the things I do recommend do cost a bit more money. So Adrian's course last week cost $2,500 for that if it was for you in the e-com space. Because the result is result-based proof is so undeniable, and that's a whole year course. OMG is 16-month course. This here is a four-month course with a 120-day guarantee that you're going to get results. And at the end of the day, rather than buying $47 product, $67 product, $37 product, $7 info PDF that I swear I've done it, it just sits on my computer. I like to guide you guys into actual courses with experts that get you the results and that have done all the all the mistakes themselves so you don't have to do it. I always love making mistakes so you guys don't have to. That's why I love doing reviews on products and whatnot, right? So um, that's uh, that's why I like to do this here and that's why I know that the products that I do, mainly the courses here really, there's not that many softwares that cost uh, a lot of money. Um, I'm always looking at the return on investment and with info products, the return on investment is huge because you don't make the mistakes spending money on shit that doesn't work. Um, you can learn from industry experts like Facebook ads. I trialed and errored for so long before I figured out how to do Facebook ads okay. Adrian Morrison is a monster at Facebook ads, better than me I personally believe. He has three Facebook reps, right? And he comes in here and trains my audience and you guys for free, right? So. Uh, he does offer his actual ongoing service afterwards, but the free training is just undeniable. I can, I'm can, i sure you guys believe when I taught you guys a zero targeting tactic today that Adrian taught me and everyone on last week's webinar that that was huge to everyone here, knowing that they don't have to overcomplicate things, they can get huge value from doing very basic, simple things that Facebook like to see. Um, cool, so that's there. Um, Bruya says you've already got ESA, awesome, that's killer to say. Um, so any other questions, I just want to go through these quickly then we'll move on. Um, I want to learn, blah, blah. I just want to check out what you guys are seeing here. Um, Theodore, I'll, I'll, I'll ensure there's a spot there if that's for you there. Elizabeth, if you do that tomorrow, that's fine. I'll ensure that I save you one there. We're going to be running out of these spots really quickly soon, guys, so I just want to go over this really quickly. Um, See, so Roy says here, look, I love the concept, but I have too many other programs on my plate. I'm like a flea jumping from dog to dog, so I completely understand that, guys. It can be very frustrating. I used to do that as well. I was affiliate marketing. Then I was e-commerce, creating these teeth whitening strips. Then I was doing weight loss teas. Then I was going over and doing product launches. What I found the best thing to do, well, I actually sold my car. A lot of you know this. I sold my car and I went all in on actually creating an info course and excuse me, launching it through affiliates. And I focused on that for about four months straight. Sold my car, no car, met my girlfriend, at the same time and she was driving me around and being the best thing ever, she still is the best thing ever for me, but um, driving me around and just while well, I was so stressed out but when I focused on one thing, that's when things took off. So that's what I suggest, if you've got shiny object syndrome, you've bought lots of things in the past and you're trying to figure out, okay, I'm just all over the place, think about how you can use all those things for one specific area or niche. Is it e-commerce? Is it affiliate marketing? Is it local marketing like we're teaching right now? Then once you've done that, find the experts in that field and join one of their info courses where I recommend. And if you have recommend, if you have questions about who you should see and what you should look at, let me know because I know pretty much all the best people in all the different uh, niches here. Because when you learn from a mentor, when you learn from someone who's actually doing it, and not just them, their students are actually doing it then that's when you can really leapfrog ahead of the pack and not buy all these little bits and pieces, actually go through a system that actually does work for you guys. So no brainer says, got ESA 2 going through it right now, honestly you will dominate with ESA. If you guys want to see um, last week's webinar as well, it's uh, www.instarmate.com forward slash 
ASA 2017. Watch that. Adrian provides huge content there. Uh, Ryan says that's the um, what's the link for it? That's it there. Um, I'm going to send that to you there as well. Awesome, guys. So, in saying that, if you're still on the fence, final chance to ask any questions for this right now. But otherwise, these are the links you have to go through to get those bonuses. You get free hosting for a year. I'll buy your domain name for you. I will ensure, um, you, well, you obviously do get your 140, 120 days, sorry, refund policy. That if you don't get your first $1,000 client, when you're only paying $697 here, so you technically are going to make money um, either way here, right? You're going to either get your refund after you've had four months of full training, or you're going to have a thousand dollar a month client, which uh, I guarantee you'll get very, very quickly. I can you, you can see here in this webinar how you could do that as well quickly. But you have the business processes set up for you guys. This is for you guys here. So um, let's see what we've got here. And I want to welcome everyone who's joined in, in the Ties group. I'm very, very excited for you guys uh, because it's going to. If this isn't a shiny object syndrome, this is a course. And sometimes people get a bit um, freaked out by courses, so they might think, "Oh, it's a lot of work. It's not easy to make money online, but it's a shit lot easier when you have someone who's doing it to actually teach you what actually works." And uh, has thousands of students doing so. Let's have a look here. Look at all these comments. These are comments on all these different posts. So you don't only just get the actual video, you get MP3s of every one of these files. You get downloads of actual PDFs that they've included in each of these sections. You can ask questions here. There's a very engaged audience of people throughout all of these posts. So it's a community as well. Uh, I'm not going to beat this like with a stick to try to sell it to you guys. It's just something that if you're doing local marketing, I feel this is going to provide very big value to you guys, and I want you guys to jump into it if that is you. So again, we'll jump over here quickly here. These are the links you need to go to. I put it in the in the comment box before. Uh, this is purely for my VIP audience here. So you being here can largely to get this. Um, I'm going to send that to everyone now. So in saying that. What I'm going to do is jump over to one final thing here. Um, let me just get this up for you one second. Um, I'm going to. I want to show you guys something that I've been seeing quite a bit in the group. I just need to get it up in a separate box so I don't reveal something. Um, Insta. So a lot of people have been asking about direct messaging in uh, Instagram. And there are a few tools out there that like offer it, but they are personally they're not safe, guys. Like I wouldn't be using them. They're not using individual IPs from as far as I can see. Maybe one of them is, but um, and whatnot. Um, so just give me one second here while I log into something. Sorry, I can't remember it. I have too many passwords, guys, so I'm always all about all around. Cool. So, really quickly, this is going to be cool. Then we're going to do a give do a quick prize giveaway. We need for two hours, so we'll end it quickly. This is inbox gram, though, guys. I'm going to be. Uh, you guys have asked for it, guys. I'm excited for it. Um, this is going to be a direct message tool. You can see my name here, Luke McGuire. I can enter a message here saying, hey, thanks for the follow. Would love for you to check out my um, website, blah, 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 blah. Then it's going to send a direct message to all of your brand new Instagram followers. So as soon as they follow you, you're going to be building rapport with your audience, guys. Not only that, we're adding in new features so you can upload a list of custom audiences. So you can add in, I only want to direct message these people. And then in future, say you want to actually Instagram direct message blast all of your followers, you'll be able to do this as well. Got some very nice, simple analytics here. Uh, 
Uh, it's going to be very, very, very cheap. It's going to be under 30 bucks, I'm pretty sure, right now. Um, and it's going to be cool. And you can use that for your clients. People have been asking for it. They're delivering it. We're getting it made right now. You have access to it. It won't be free because for this, it will have to be a small monthly cost. But this is going to be a way that you can really scale up um, your current. Um, Oh, once again, the way you, can scale, you can scale up your current business, guys. So, in saying that, let's give away an iPad. So, first of all, I want you guys to be a part of this. Um, and what? Oh, one second. I'm just going to jump out of my webcam. I'm going to change this over. Can you guys still hear me okay, hopefully? I just had a bit of a freak out for a second. Um, one second. Cool. All right, this is what I want you to do. Rather than me asking a question here of what you've learned today and choosing what's the best answer and being completely, um, completely, uh, you might think it could be biased and whatnot. I want to do this completely randomly. I want you guys to... Um, what do I want you guys to sell? I'm going to get you guys to say something in a minute and we're going to give away an iPad randomly to someone in the audience here. So what we're going to do, uh, you can only say it once. If you answer something more than once and spam comment, uh, you're going to be disqualified from this little free giveaway that we're doing here right now. I'm going to get you to say, um, oh, what, 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 what are your kinds of good words to say? Just a hashtag, hashtag something. I want to hear what you guys think is a good um, I just, I just, Carlos, you are a very smart person. I want you guys to hashtag. Um, oh, what, actually, what was that one there? There's some good, there's some good recommendations coming in here. <laughs> oh, there's some nice ones as well. People saying hashtag Luke Rocks. Now, nah, I'm not an ego person like that, but I do appreciate those keywords there. But could you imagine that? Hey guys, I'm just getting everyone to say Luke Rocks. I'm just not into myself. That's not me. So I want you guys to do uh, hashtag. This is what we're going to do. Don't do it yet. I'm going to say go when I'm ready. I'm going to do some Snapchat as well, so you can see that it's completely random as well. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. So I'm going to ask you guys to hashtag the word. Actually, let me do this here. Don't do it yet. All right, guys. For the free iPad giveaway that I'm going to be giving to one of you guys, I want you to hashtag the word. Insta famous when I say go. Now don't do it yet. So, three, two, one, go. Hashtag the word Insta famous. Hashtag the word Insta famous. I'm going to give away a free iPad to one of you guys right now. <laughs> oh my God. You guys are killing it. All right, keep on going if you want to, guys. And I'm going to do this right now. Uh, I'm going to scroll randomly. Through this, I'm going to show you this right now. So um, let me just put these together. So when I scroll through, again, if you've, if you've done it more than once, you're not going to win it. Um, all right, guys, so I'm doing this on my Snapchat so you can see that it's real. I'm going to scroll up and down, and whoever lands on wins a free iPad. Oh, I'm doing that again too far. All right, guys, so I'm now giving away a free iPad to whoever this lands on. Now I'm scrolling randomly, and we'll see who it lands on. Let me see here. Who's the winner? I'm just going to save this here so I can upload it for you guys so you can see. It was actually Clark Anderson here. And we know what, just because it looks like uh, Yvette's Yvette, you're underneath it as well. So I'm going to give you 200 bucks just because it was so close to you as well. And you've been very active in this webinar as well. You can actually um, go ahead and look at my Snapchat as well so you can see what's happening there. So Clark Anderson, please, uh, socialmediaattention.com, uh, and I'm going to send you my Facebook account. 
an email. So I'm going to send that to you there, Clark, and then Yvette, I'm going to send you that there as well. Contact me on either or both of those if that's cool with you. Then what I'm going to do is give uh, get that set up for you, get your actual um, get your actual uh, details for both of you. Um, so you get the iPad, and then Yvette, you get 250 bucks. I think I said, or what, I might have said 200, but now you get 250 if I didn't say that already. So in saying that, guys, that's what happens when you come into these webinars. Anyone can win. Every week I'm going to be doing these things. So I appreciate you all coming on here. Um, I hope you guys do come over and pick up Ty's product because, again, it's not just Ty. So if you, uh, it's it's an industry experts. Chris Records in there. If you guys know him teaching, a uh, lot of top guys in there as well. If you're going to be doing local marketing, this is for you. If you're not going to be doing local marketing, this is not for you. So again, I'm always 100% transparent of who this is for and who it's not. If you're doing e-commerce, if you're doing SEO for yourself, if you're doing local bit, um. If not, sorry, not local business. If you're doing affiliate marketing, this won't be for you. But if local marketing is what you're wanting to do, if you're in a space where you want other people to pay you for doing services for them, then this is perfect, guys. Go to this link here, pick it up now for, for uh, I think it's 40% off almost, um, or 30% off than what it normally is online. I'll leave this open for the replays. There's still some spots. Whoever watches this replay jumps in, you'll get that as well. Uh, and saying that Insta Famous, I'm giving that all to you for free, hopefully by the end of this month, along with an upgrade to Instamate 1.0 to 2.0, where you get Instagram story uploads and a lot of other exciting things there as well. And my other tool, Inbox Grand, that's being worked on as well right now, and you guys will be first to have access to that as well. So if you enjoy, enjoy that, write hashtag loved it. Hashtag loved it. I want to see you guys if you enjoyed this here. Um, Got a lot of people saying they enjoy it, you know. So, and you can see, loved it, loved it, loved it. Yeah. Awesome, guys. I'm happy you all enjoyed this webinar a lot. So, uh, we'll finish this one up here. One thing I want to say to you guys all as well is that I appreciate when I come on here. Is my webcam still on? Hopefully, it is. Cool. Yeah, it is. When I come on here as well, whenever I do webinars by myself, I normally just like to provide value only. And when I provide offers, like ties, and even though I've got a crazy deal and there's an insane money back guarantee and stuff like that, uh, I know it's not for everyone, and I'm always going to say that out loud. And that's like I said, if you're an affiliate marketer, it won't be for you most likely unless you want to do local marketing. But I always appreciate that you guys don't see this as me offer pitching because again, I know I hate going onto webinars where it's pitch, 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 pitch. I'm here to connect the dots and put you guys in a position to get forward as fast as possible. I go through everything rigorously. You can see me doing these interviews um, on different products online and me actually doing reviews myself saying, this is crap here, this is good here, this is for this person, but it's, uh, it's, it's not what it says on the sales page and whatnot. I love that you can see that I'm being completely honest with you guys and transparent that this isn't a pitch base. I don't make my money from affiliate marketing. Yes, I will provide affiliate links if I do uh, recommend something. Uh, because again, I'm always going to provide a bonus and I'm going to go to the effort of going through it. It's no extra cost to you guys, obviously, but I will put an affiliate link there. But my income comes from creating pro products and software that really do sell and more importantly, help people in their businesses. So that's my core uh, business model there, which gives me a great opportunity um, to be able to be quite cutthroat with a lot of affiliate marketing products. Uh, people ask me to promote stuff every single day. and uh, the one thing I always ask for, the main thing, is give me five people that have actually got results with this product. And 99% of people can't do that, which actually sucks. Um, but that's the internet marketing game. And I appreciate that when I do come to you guys with an offer, you guys know that I've been through it. I've seen the social proof. I'll walk through it. I'll show you the positives and the negatives. Uh, and I'll ensure that you are in good hands if I am recommending you guys to any other um, vendor and whatnot. So in saying that, Take this webinar. I'm going to send the replay out today. Even if you didn't pick this up today, I am here to ensure um, if you have any questions with local marketing, take what I taught you guys, implement that, uh, and go from there. So in saying that, um, I'll, oh, by the way, I'll send these lists out here to you guys in the uh, in the email afterwards. I'll save them now. Make sure I don't delete them. You'll get them all after this webinar. And in saying that, I hope you all have a really, really good day. Um, 
Roy says, loved it, even though I didn't win the iPad. And you know what? Next week, I'll probably give away something else, maybe an iPhone or something next week as well. So, um, Yvette says there was technical glitches here. Unfortunately, sometimes GoToWebinar has a mind of its own. Internet here sometimes does. Hopefully, next time it won't. Cynthia, yes, Adrian Morrison's course is available. I'll send you a link now. Um, um, slash. That's there. Um, and in saying that, guys, I appreciate everything that's going on here. I'll speak to you after this webinar. We'll be back next week with another value webinar. So love you all, uh, and I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.